Who are the Belarusian volunteers? In this case, the Belarusian volunteers refers to those people coming from Belarus who have entered Ukraine to join the Ukrainian armed forces in their struggle against the Russian invasion which started on the 24th of February 2022. Belarus sits just to the north of Ukraine, and as such, it may seem apparent that volunteers from that country may wish to enter Ukraine to fight. And in fact, I've talked about the specific role of Belarus in this video if you're interested. Now, the thing is that the government of Belarus is one of the closest allies to Russia. In fact, some analysts even claim that Belarus is simply a satellite state of Russia at this point. So it may not be apparent why volunteers from this country may wish to join the Ukrainian army. Well, the dictator of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, has been in power since 1994, just three years after the breakup of the USSR and the independence of Belarus as its own sovereign state. Since then, Lukashenko has used the army and indeed the police forces to remain in power, squashing any dissenting voices, so much so that it's sometimes referred to as Europe's North Korea or the last dictatorship in Europe. There were large-scale protests against this and indeed in favour of electoral reform and the ousting of Lukashenko following a controversial election in 2020. However, these protests were cracked down upon harshly by the Belarusian government and indeed had some support from Russian state forces as well. Now, since 2014, because of this authoritarian system in Belarus, several Belarusian individuals have gone to Ukraine to fight with the Ukrainian army and various militias. And now in 2022, with the latest Russian aggression against Ukraine, many Belarusians have gone over to serve with the Ukrainians themselves. It's been said that around 200 Belarusians have so far crossed into Ukraine and are now serving with the Ukrainian armed forces, and that another 300 were en route via Poland. One of the more famous Belarusian volunteers to go over is Pavel Shurme, who is a famous Belarusian rower who's rowed in the Olympics and won medals. He released a video on Twitter voicing his views as to why he was going over to fight, especially since his wife is a Ukrainian citizen. On the 4th of March, after around a week of the Russian invasion, there was the announcement of the first Belarusian death amongst the Ukrainian army, and this was of Ilya Litvin, who had been serving with the Azov Battalion, a rather controversial battalion which I have a video about as well, and it was later renounced by another Belarusian fighting in the same unit by Jan Melnikov that he believes there are around 50 other Belarusians who were serving with Azov in Ukraine. He said, we urge every Belarusian who has a desire to fight shoulder to shoulder with the Ukrainians for the common ideals of freedom and the value of serenity to join us. Continuing by saying, we share the same concept of freedom as the Ukrainian people, he said. But today, Belarus is occupied by pro-Russian forces with a government totally under their control. Belarusian freedom depends on the freedom of Ukraine. Now, it's interesting because there might be the case in the future if more Belarusians go over to Ukraine, as indeed we have seen with several hundred going over at just the first few weeks of the invasion, that there might be something of a Belarusian legion being formed or a Belarusian battalion, as there are the Georgian legion, which I've also got a video about, of various nationalities that have come to Ukraine to fight alongside the Ukrainian people. The situation is complicated for Belarusian volunteers given the stance of its government, and while as of yet the Belarusian army has not been sent into Ukraine, Belarus is being used as a base for Russian operations there. There has been some evidence of activity on the home front, sabotaging railway connections which the Russians use to move troops and logistics, as well as phone communication lines being disturbed. Vadim Prokopiev said, The destiny of Belarus is going to be determined in this battle between the Russian world and the free people of Ukraine. This is our battleground too. If we win here, then the days of Lukashenko are numbered. So many in the opposition in Belarus hope that if they can help Ukraine to defeat Russia, then the government of Lukashenko, which is propped up by that of Vladimir Putin and Russia, may also finally fall, thus ensuring for their own freedom. But only time will tell if this is the case.